Hello, Kurt Curtis coming at you from the Full Octane Garage. As you know, we've been working on a 1933 Auburn boat tail project. And that particular car started out with a small tick in the motor. And the tick in the motor turned into, let's pull the motor out and let's rebuild it. And then once we have the motor out, actually, you got to take the whole front end off to get the motor out. So now it turns into a full body off restoration. That's not exactly what we were expecting, but we have until September to get this car back together for the Auburn Duesenberg Festival in Auburn, Indiana, Labor Day weekend. So we're in a mad dash to get this car fixed. We've got the engine over at the machine shop. We've uh, fixed a few things in it, waiting on some parts. The next thing we decided to do was to tackle some rust in the chassis. There's a few pockets where some debris was held and it rusted through and got some small rust spots in the chassis. So we took it over to my uh, buddy Alan Pizzo's shop at Predator Racing and we proceeded to cut some bad pieces of chassis out. Uh, we used his very, very cool Edwards Iron Worker to produce some replacement parts with the proper curvature to them and the proper size. We grafted them back in the body, or I should say Alan grafted them back into the chassis and we ground everything down to make it look like it had never happened. The chassis turned out phenomenal. The next stage in this is uh, I'm going to do a little bit of paint work to it. I've already done some pre-paint work. I'm taking some POR15 to it. We're going to clean up the, uh, the, the bare metal, put POR15. Uh, we are actually using a semi-gloss version of it. And we'll probably go ahead and paint the whole chassis in that just to get it to match and get it looking really good. We'll pull it back in the shop and it'll be ready to put the motor back in. Once we put the motor and trans in, we'll do a little test fire to make sure it runs before we drop the body back on it. So that's what we've got going on in the shop with the 1933 Auburn boat tail. We'll look at some videos that we've taken uh, welding. You'll see where uh, there is a lot of sparks flying. Uh, we've tried to take some video with the uh, welding mask. The camera didn't like uh, a lot of the direct uh, shots of the welding. We also have a lot of sparks flying with the uh, grinding wheel going down, cleaning up the chassis. And at the end of the day, uh, from start to finish, uh, we spent about uh, maybe an afternoon and a half or so on this thing, maybe a full day. Uh, to get the old metal cut out, to get some of it sandblasted, prepared for welding, and then get the new pieces grafted in. As you see from some of these shots, we're actually welding the metal and taking our time to grind it flat so that it looks like the, the metal has never been replaced. Uh, to do a real good uh, metal replacement job, you want to use a, the same size metal stock. You want to cut out all of the bad areas. Once the bad areas have been cut out, you will cut a piece to go back in, leaving a small gap all the way around it so that you leave some room for the welding material to fill the gap and get a good bond. Uh, you'll see throughout the welding process as Alan's welding this, you'll see that uh, some of the spots he, uh, he tacks in first and then he goes through and, and does a, a series of smaller welds uh, to let the metal cool down a little bit.
other thing is once we're all done we grind it down grind it flat and then we will put some POR 15 on it to seal the paint or seal the metal raw metal and then we're going to come back and shoot the whole chassis in what we call uh, it's actually a product called John Deere Blitz Black you get it for about $38 a gallon at the John Deere store it's a uh, semi flat black uh, that looks very close to a, a chassis paint it's a, an enamel. You put some uh, enamel hardener in it to make it have a little bit more of a sheen. As you can see, the chassis has made some really good progress. This is actually where some damage was replaced. We're all painted up with the John Deere Blitz Black. We built some facades and some supports for the uh, running board uh, supports. Got everything all nicely painted. And as we come down this side you'll see where we've actually replaced some metal and in here this is where a big chunk of metal was out at one point. That's all been replaced and it's looking fantastic.